Hello. Hey. We have audio. Super. Now I'm getting blinded too. All right. So I know we started late. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm going to have to ask you for your patience uh, with the slideshow too, because it's pretty rough. Um, thanks so much, guys. Uh, first, I wanted to start by uh, thanking all of my goons that have been running around like crazy. while I still figure out how to do my job. So thank you. Um, I, I'm not sure about this, but I think we had a record number of uh, contests and events. We had a lot going on this year. So hopefully um, you guys all got to get into something fun. Uh, once again, thanks to uh, my CNE and e organizers, my goons, that's redundant. All right, so our first contest that we will be announcing the winners of is question mark cube. Wait, that's you, man. Sorry. No, did I fuck it up? Fucked it up. We're here. I wish I was, then I could drink a beer. <laughs> Just start with oh, There's no info. Next. <laughs> yeah, now we're. You want to you want to jump into Snacky? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Do you got more? You want to come up and talk about Snacky real quick? Thank you for saving caves. If you're from Cube, come on up. Oh, if you have gosh. the info. Do you have slides? Oh, she had to run. Oh, we got it. The slides? Just... No slides. Cool. OK. Yeah. Hey, man. We can go back to it after this part. So we'll ballpark the slides. Yeah, so uh, thanks, everyone. Yeah, Necrosis, <laughs> get up here. So we're just gonna wing this one. So uh, I think we had about, sorry. I think we had about a thousand entries this year, which is about five times what we had last year at our unofficial snacky contest. Thanks everyone to, uh, for participating. Uh, how, many, how many would you say we actually vended? So, yeah, writing the numbers down, we had about, Mike. Mike! We had about a thousand people register. From there, we had about six to seven hundred actually get verified by Snacky. Building down from that, we vended about three, two to three hundred SAOs, a few hundred bad badges. We vended 136 pounds of melted sand from a vending machine. And we are so gracious that DEF CON lets us bring a vending machine to vend electronic badges. Apparently, people like electronic badges here. All right, so with not, uh, not much further ado, our winner this year was Necrosis. Congratulations. I understand he stayed up all night one night and then went to the bar so, and saw the sunrise. So uh, for our winner, we do have a special one-of-a-kind aluminum snacky badge uh, in a special Pelican case with LEDs. So congratulations. I told you it was going to be a rough presentation. Thanks, guys. We got Cube. We got Cube. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm AJ. I am the creator of the Cube. This was a first year, first time contest straight out of my brain. Uh, it was intense. It was fun. Everybody who, who competed, thank you so much for being a piece of it. Um, so our winners were Mega Doomer, 
who got 100%. If you guys are in here, can you come up? I have something for you. Uh, second place was Strangers, which was a team of strangers that became friends. And, um, and then team name was uh, 82%. Strangers was 88%. Um, and again, thank you so much for participating and being a part of the, my crazy journey. That was amazing. So thank you. Anyone here from Adversary Wars CTF that wants to talk about their CTF really quick? I got one? Uh, yeah. Yes. Nice. I'm not the best fan of white, so. <laughs> Head of Corn. So we had uh, an amazing contest this year. It's called Advisory Wars CTF. More about like advisory emulation, simulation kind of thing. We had about uh, 100 teams registered for the contest. And uh, three teams got to be the winners. And the first prize goes to like uh, CTF.SG from Singapore. So the entire CTF was made out of a fictional tractator. We kind of bought this from South India to create a fictional tractator based out of an elephant. So I'm going to gift them this on the stage. <laughs> And that is not the only prize. We also got an amazing, I don't know, a, a gaming machine. <laughs> uh, they were awesome. They kind of uh, sold like uh, 16 flag out of uh, the Ender Challenge. That was pretty awesome, guys. Thank you, and uh, come and play in Ishira, sir. And we got the second place. It goes to the team Sleepy, Daniel, Gregor, and Mike. They captured uh, 16 fla uh, sorry, 14 flags. They. They fought very well. We bought them like a sword and shield. That is from uh, kind of one of the oldest martial arts in the world. And that is not, not all. We also got them a couple of uh, hacking devices like uh, from a voucher from HackFi and a small token. Yeah, thank you guys, thank you. You did, you did well. And the third place goes to the team Hick Autumn Ehas. I don't know the meaning of that, but uh, Wombat, Bagel Bites, and Dust Block. They have captured nine flags for the CTF. So we got some stuff for them as well. Uh, something from, something from uh, like uh, our, our plays and amazing gaming keyboard. And in addition to this, we also got uh, many other things like uh, certification vouchers and training vouchers, other goodies as well. So that will happen in the backstage. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you guys, thank you for playing. And uh, I need to mention one more team. Because out of, I mean, all these 100 teams, they played very well, but one team kind of stand out. We have 
team encore and uh, could you please guys please come to the stage we got uh, a young guy we we noticed an young guy and his mother playing very hard they stayed there for like uh, two days i mean two and a half days played very well they tried to they kind of sold uh, at least like you know four or five different flags we thought they deserve to be like you know give a consolation prize for the for the you know for the sake of defcon for the <laughs> and uh, yeah that's it that's it for now thank you thank you defcon thank you dd thank you all the amazing good participants thank you see you next year Uh, so auto driving CTF has actually already left. Uh, do we have their results? Um, yes. Sorry, all of all of it gets submitted like right before, so it's pretty disorganized. We're sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna skip yeah, past. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any? Do we? Have Battle of the Bots. Battle of the Bots. Perfect. Oh. Love that for me. <laughs> Love that. We do have the results, but uh. Hello, everybody. We're Battle of the Bots. Uh, we're here on behalf of OUSD. And uh, before beginning, I want to give a special thank you for DEF CON for making this possible, all the competitors for competing, and all the great people we got to meet along the way. Uh, to give you a quick overview of who we were, uh, we ran a CTF here today, uh, this whole weekend, actually, where uh, you had to develop a worm or a bot to make your way through one of our three network maps, uh, require you to create a bot that would triage through multiple exploits, redeploy itself, copy itself over between boxes. So it's a pretty unique spin on the challenge, and we are so excited we had the opportunity to share this with you guys, and I hope you guys had fun along the way. Uh, without further ado, let's announce the winners. Uh, please come on up once you hear your name called. We got some prizes for you guys. In third place, we have OCE underscore is underscore best. Are they here? Anybody? Later. We'll get them later. <laughs> on to second place, we got Space Cats. Space Cats, if you're here, please come on up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to give you guys the choice between Bender and Mr. Robot. These are like our little rubber ducky programmers that made us do the competition. So you get a little personal piece of the team with you guys. Don't work for Bender. Bender? Bender. And Raspberry Pi for you all. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. And lastly, in first place, Reznok. Is Reznok here? Guess not. But thank you again, guys, so much. It was a pleasure having this with you. First time being here. Hopefully, we get to be back. Thank you. All right, so since we're running out of time, if you were a contest or event organizer, if I could just have you queuing up here, and we're going to try to rush it through like that. Um, Auto drive? You had the auto drive one, right? What? Auto drive? No. No, that one we didn't I'll break it.
team. Yeah. Yeah. All right, All right so we're going to be very brief. Thank you for playing the CTF. The CTF we did this year was to help you develop the skills that you need to be a better security engineer or uh, IR responder. The concept of CTF is very simple. Things were broken. The application and data we give you needed to find, you need to find ways to leverage the tools we provided to you. We had host data and network telemetry, but the tools that we de deploy and even the data in the way we ingested it was not working. That's what happens in real life, and we wanted you to feel what it's like to do things in real life. And so, first prize was Juragoons. And so, thank you so much. All right, so this was actually a really cool thing. We had a book exchange this year. I don't know if, uh, if anyone participated in that, but it was the first year that we had a book exchange, um, trying to do what we can to reduce our carbon footprint and also share some of our favorite books. I don't think I have a representative from the book exchange here, um, but I do recommend you check it out next year. Uh, for Capture the Packet, I actually do have the winners here for that. I know, you're all surprised. Um, all right, for Capture the Packet, third place is Nightsack, Team Nightsack. Uh, second place is Crash. And first place, Chat CTP. For Hardwired, third place, winner is BP. Second place, Muscle Link. First place, B2B. in Espanol. I can't. I, it's all in Spanish. <laughs> no, Ablo. Welcome to our dumpster fire. <laughs> I'm just going to breeze through these and just tell everyone uh, how thankful I am to these creators that absolutely deserve better than what I'm giving them right now. They work all year long and put on these amazing contests. So uh, I just really, really want to apologize again for this. Uh, for Car Hacking Village, third place we have can openers. <laughs> or that's the prize, I don't know, we'll see. Um, second place, we got some Canucks. And I'm, I think this is kind of a, a prince situation because it's just a symbol, a semicolon, just semicolon. So Car Hacking Village has been evolving over the past few years with harder problems and more participation than any of the past years. Uh, they've had, on average, 100 players in the last two years. This year, they had 170. Uh, top teams were only one to three solves away from each other. So this was a really, really tight competition, very exciting one. Um, and I uh, want to say thank you to Car Hacking Village. Do I have anyone from Command and Control over there? Rad. I think for the first time we showed up the ceremonies and they sent the guy who never does this, so Mike. Uh, 
Thank you. Um, yeah, we're command and control. Um, every, I think this is our eighth or ninth year, we come back with a uh, cyber range for you all to hack away on. Um, like many contests, we keep getting more and more players every year, so appreciate everyone's participation. Uh, this year, we brought a medical record system that had 45 different challenges in it. Um, I'll go over our winners here. Um, and we've already handed out our prizes, so I'm not going to do it up here. But in third place, we had C-Wave. Um, and they got uh, lock picking kits. And in second place, we had IRA. They got um, Flipper Zero, but I believe they exchanged with the first place. Uh, and the first place was Savage Submarine, who show up many of years, and uh, they always do well. And um, they got a Nintendo Switch. They ended up scoring 40 of our, of our 45 challenges, um, including exploiting a Log4 Shell challenge. Um, and discovering a little bit more of some of our new architecture than we even intended. So that was uh, very fun. Um, we're excited to come back next year. Um, thank you, everybody. Crack me if you can. Do I have crack me if you can folks here? Okay. I'm. Yeah? Yeah, the lights are blinding, just so you know. Everyone is just blurs over there. Yes, crack me if you have, no? All right, we're zooming past this really quick. Uh, creative Writing Short Story Contest is actually a pre-con event. Uh, if you are a creative mind, love short stories, uh, I don't know, maybe some creepy pasta stuff. Uh, that's uh, definitely a really good one every year, love that. I uh, wanna say thank you to the organizers of the DEF CON bike ride, uh, and do I have Darknet folks here? Yay! Hello, DEFCON! I need this energy. All right, so if you guys haven't heard of the Darknet NG, we are an ARG, an augmented reality game. We're here to be able to send you on different quests to learn new skills and be able to put those to task via challenge quests. We have a rotation of different challenges that are always new things to learn. This year, we were able to encourage a lot of new folks to come in, get involved with this awesome community. We sent players to the Temper Evident vill event villages, the Ham Village, radio and lock picking. We also had people go through and build their own badges ahead of time, bring them to the conference and all play with Meshtastic, which was amazing. Overall, we had over 293 badges that we saw, and we're gonna talk about the first place winners now. So for first place, there is a tie, and first place goes to both Feathers and Tupac. Come on up. So the, this entire contest was uh, based off of uh, two books made by Daniel Suarez, and we got the first edition signed for him, for each of them. So with that, put your hands together for him. So the second place winner is Teflin, and third place is Bocano for third place. So if you want to learn more, go to our website at darknet-ng.network, and we look forward to seeing you all next year. Thanks. Kubernetes. Uh, I don't. DC sticker design. No. Don't have that either. Just for a minute. I have those results. Jess. Oh yes. Sorry. Yeah. Come on up, Michaela. Sorry, I'm texting you, but I can't see you. It's all bright lights, man. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. Um, what's up? Woo! Woo! Yeah. Woo! Okay. So, 
We are just so glad to be here with you guys. We're so glad to be here to present our community. This year we had an amazing CTF that involved a physical challenge as well as the virtual challenges. So we had a physical challenge room presented by Escape. Um, we were hosted by our CTF partners, a CTF room in Kenya. Um, we also worked with the KC7 Foundation as well as Big HQ. So we had four different organizations across um, four countries. Um, of Richard here, so we're representing Nigeria and Kenya as well as the United States and Canada, and we're really excited to present that. So um, I'll introduce you to our CTF director who will give you the CTF information. Hi everyone, how you all doing? I'm Jeff, or Low Braves High Hopes, CTF director, and I just want to give a shout out to the CTF creators. So I'll drop a few names. We have Michaela, we have uh, Laron, we have Jones from Kenya, Charlie, TJ, Abe Abezi, um, Simeon, John Collins, Kelvin, Chris, Virus, Ta Taha, Gilbert, Trevor, Kelvin, and Kelvin from Kenya, Tanzania, Nigeria, USA, and Canada. So I want to give a uh, strong hand of applause to them. And then I want to thank all the hard work for the participants that participate in our CTF, gave it their all, hopefully learned some things, hopefully uh, felt challenged, they want to kind of have words with our uh, Capture the Flag uh, creators, but announcing the uh, winners. So in third place, folding chair, can I get a representative work? Good, good work, yeah. <laughs> and in uh, second place, can I get a representative from the Clean Boys? Excellent job. All right, and in first place, can I get A. Gomez from uh, SageGen? Thank you. Ooh, <laughs> it's time, it's time for the DEF CON scavenger hunt, folks, to, uh, to come and tell us who their winners are this year. My personal favorite, my family. Love you guys. Hi. Hi. I, I'm Eva Mofo. Um, I'm the lead, but I've lost my voice, so it's Zora's turn. Oh, shit. Okay, hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name's Zora. I'm one of the judges here at the DEF CON Scavenger Hunt. This year, our judges included Evil Mofo, Dual D Flip Flop, who is working like crazy, uh, Balsa, Shazbot, Sconce, and our newest vi uh, judge, Vic. Uh, this is the 26th year of the Scavenger Hunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we are probably arguably the best way for you to experience a little bit of everything that DEF CON has to offer as we send you around to interact with villages, talks, goons, in other contests as well. Uh, this year, we had several teams who fought like crazy to catch up to our first place team who immediately had a massive lead the minute we started the hunt. Um, we'd like to acknowledge those teams that fought as hard as they could. Uh, our third place team was Cringy Pot Lewd Venters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, our second place team was... Uh, yes, and that is their team name. Yeah. 
Uh, but coming in first, we'd like to congratulate missing DEF CON badges. Come on up here, guys, real quick. With the quick list. So yes, this is our first place team missing DEF CON badges. So uh, if you've never played the scavenger hunt before, please come see us next year. We keep DEF CON weird. Thank you. If you're on team uh, or the uh, pot lickers, please come with us. Nope. Okay. Ooh, hey. Do I have, oh, you guys see me. Thanks. It's okay. We're, fuck it, we're doing it live. All right, cool. So, uh, DEF CON MUD, Dumb Terminal Edition. We caused a lot of shenanigans this year. We played on a 26-year-old MUD with 40-year-old terminals. I want to send thanks to Dual D for bringing them out because this is a joke on Discord. We crammed it together in a month, and uh, the player who won wound up playing for like 30 hours and figured out how to bypass our cheat detection. So Cal, if you're around, congratulations. He won an analog pocket. Um, other than that, yeah, this is fantastic. We'll be back next year probably with modem banks instead of uh, dumb terminals because I'm not doing this again. Thank you all. We are abandoning the slideshow because because I can't anymore. For reasons. Hi, <laughs> DefCon. This is uh, DefCon's next top threat model. Um, so this is uh, my name's Nas. This is Shauna. Hey. Um, <clears throat> we had uh, uh, about 85 uh, contestants join our contest. Uh, so we, we uh, basically present the contestants with a design. Uh, they're going to go through and try and find as many findings as possible and give some guidance to the dev team on why it's important and what the risk is. Um, we, uh, our our uh, contestant that won uh, said he spent about 15 hours in total. Um, <clears throat> we had some uh, most interesting threats were uh, denial of service caused by wildlife. Uh, and, uh, and we had uh, death, destruction, dismemberment, and explosions. Uh, and um, yeah, and then the, uh, the, the uh, most interesting mitigation was unplug this system fucking right now. <laughs> so uh, we had about 120 threats uh, that were submitted in total, uh, a lot of really good information. Um, we also did a, um, it wasn't part of the, the contest, but we did a uh, kids activity. Uh, and we had what his father called the, his chaos monkey. Um, and uh, the, uh, some of the, the best mitigation, the theme was around beach, uh, going to the beach. And he said that, uh, you know, he could get attacked by sharks. Uh, his mitigation was to take some blood and throw in the other direction. So, um, yeah, so uh, we had three winners. Uh, Joe Ram uh, was first place. Uh, we had uh, Lovely Dreamer and Cable Pull. Thank you. Thank you. I thought you said that you couldn't do the Vanna White stuff. You're making it work. Practicing to be a ring girl for UFC. <laughs> uh, hey there, we're from the maps of the digital lands. Um, it's amazing how much talent we've saw here at DEF CON. Like everybody who came and said, oh, I can't draw. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've got some winners here. Some people did a really good job. Um, here we have Lithicon, number one artist of the show. <laughs> well, thanks everybody. So we had something we wanted to show right. you. Hi everyone, uh, we're from the Red Team CTF. My name is Laszler. We do not have Pony EIP with us today. He also goes by Pony Pie. 
but we do have Knopf Researcher, Juicy K, and Conehead. We wanted to give a big shout out to everyone who played in the quals and made it to the finals. I'm going to let Wes, who also goes by Knopf Research, go in detail. We just want to say thank you for all the teams that came out and played in the qualification round. We had 500 teams play, so it was just a lot of great, great players out there. About three to five people per team it was awesome. There were definitely some stacked teams out there. But what was really awesome is that uh, big shout out to IPSEC uh, for single-handedly creating our finals. So for, with that, we had after the qualification round, the top 10 teams went on to the finals. The finals were standalone. Each person got their own instance. Uh, essentially, a hack the box pro lab, right? Super awesome kind of thing that EPSEC built out, so we're super excited for that. So with that, uh, I'll go ahead and announce the top three teams. Uh, number three was France at DEF CON 31. The country. country. The entire country came out. It was here. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> number two, it was uh, definitely played a few times before, is AI generated. And then super impressive. Uh, this team was actually just a team of one until like the second day, then they got one more person, and on the third day they got a third person. So pretty impressive. Uh, they go by A. Dragos. And for each one of the teams, because we couldn't bring all the stuff up here, we got roughly $12,000, $8,000, $5,000 worth of prizes. First place got? Oh, they got uh, a few flippers, proxmarked. No search books and vouchers, years of Hack the Box Pro Labs and VIPs, SANS course of their choice, and Sector 7 malware dev courses, a nuke, uh, first, second, and third got nukes, um, custom fallout neon signs, and a Kawaii sticker pack. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Check us out next year. I know you're not going to believe it, but I actually have uh, some, some contest winners. <laughs> I have the information. All right, so uh, another one of my favorite contests is Hacker Runway, which uh, is just uh, this beautiful concept out of my friend Jay's mind. Uh, and it's a way to have fun with our cool wearables and show off our individu individuality at DEF CON, which there's a lot of that here, and I thank you all. Uh, for functional wear, we had Kelly's convertible cocktail evening, evening gown with a Faraday lining, uh, Smartware, Artie's eye boot with color change based on pressure, uh, Digital Wear, Chibi's Sendbot, Aesthetic Wear went to Joy Evil's Info Hazard Green Look, uh, last, last year's trophy winner was Enter, uh, I'm sorry, Entered the competition but lost her title this year in both the Smartware and the People's Choice categories. Um, the People's Choice trophy winner was uh, Kelly's Convertible Cocktail Evening Gown. All right, I was told I could do this in 45 seconds. I'm Serum from Fish Stories, and I know I have three winners in the crowd. Please stand up. For those of you who don't know, Fish Stories is a pre-con contest. Uh, we established a fictional company and management team and gave it out to everybody. It was DEF CON custard and cream with 31 distinct flavors. There were three members of the management team. We gave contestants fake articles and LinkedIn profiles. The articles were fun. Our chief marketing officer loved her parakeet, Linda. And we asked the contestants to create a backstory and phishing email, one page each, make the target click, make us laugh. The results were tremendous. All of the contestants did a fabulous job, but we had to pick winners. And so the winners in our three categories, Dan Mulvey, stand up, wave. He was the wizard. The really cool thing about his is he had an embedded thread that really wanted us to click. The wizard is the one that is the most technical and makes us click the most. And would Bird Bird stand up? The jester, somewhere in here. Yep, there we go. Uh, she had a parrot kindergarten and a dating show called The Perfect uh, Pastry Partner, which is awesome. And our overall winner, The Ruler, is our runner. I see him in the crowd. Yep, stand up right there. Uh, he had the commission of cream, and he called it Cream Con. And we're in Vegas, and I don't know if I should go very far onto that one. But anyhow, thank you, everybody. I'm off. I know I. I know. Hello, everyone. 
PTFS came to DEF CON for our second CTF with two unique twists. We had players attacking the evil Starfish Limited Corporation. The first twist was that we had multiple branches, so players could get significant points on the board without ever touching a command prompt. If you were attacking HR, it was social engineering, attacking financial, data analysis. We heard from some of our team members that the CEO suite was especially evil and had hybrid challenges. The second twist, which you might have heard or seen during the weekend, was that the model was dynamic. As players completed challenges, the model reacted with an intensity equal to the difficulty level of the challenge. Naturally, people loved seeing the uh, taser transformer and the bioreactor exploding in flame. We had 96 active teams, and the winners are as follows. There are two winners that we would like to, uh, uh, to honor here. First one is the first team that uh, penetrated the bioreactor and caused it to explode. That would be uh, Sneed's Feed and Seed. And our winner, the first place, with the, who controlled the board for most of the weekend and coming back for their second year win in our competition is ASM Hole. <laughs> Meet us off the stage, we'll, uh, we got a little something for you. Congratulations to all of our teams, y'all did a wonderful job. The Tele-Challenge is an epic battle of wits and skill. It is among the most difficult contests at DEF CON and takes an entire DEF CON to play and an entire team to win. This year, for the second year running, the Tele-Challenge congratulates Foxbox Dialing Services, who took it away with a last-minute win. We had 206 individual players in the Tele-Challenge this year across eight active registered teams. 6,613 calls came into the system, generating 10,066 billable minutes. GRU player meals, because you could be eaten by a GRU in the tele-challenge, numbered 248. And 554 voicemails were listened to by the players, who sustained 138 injuries from exploding phonobooks, allegedly. There were 103 phonomon battles in the phonoverse, two employees were socially engineered, and five bugs were remediated by players, leading to a release that immediately crashed as soon as it was deployed. Finally, the number of denial of service attacks on our asterisk system numbered one. We're looking forward to coming back next year with even more. Thank you to the players. All right, DEF CON. So I am Cryptoc, and this is T7. We are with the Crypto and Privacy Village Gold Bug Challenge. Uh, so this year, we had an epic battle. 250 teams registered. One team who joins us on the stage now, OCE Ocean, completed all the challenges during the contest. So huge props to them. Uh, during the con, if you solved three, we gave you a magazine. If you solved five, you got a sweet SAO, that silly add-on for the kids. Uh, and the winners take home this epic gold bug. So thanks, everybody. See you again next year. This is quite concerning. There are many unshielded heads in this room right now. So hello, I'm Forge. Um, I'm here on behalf of the Tinfoil Hat Challenge. Um, which is, in my belief, probably the most important contest here because we are protecting your brain meats. <laughs> so for all of those uninitiated, tinfoil hat challenge, we have two different categories. We have classic hats being built with just tinfoil, unlimited hats being built with tinfoil and anything else, and more importantly, real science. We have a mannequin out on display with a receiver up in her head. We're transmitting from various points in the room, and we're going to measure how effective your tinfoil hat is at prote protecting those brain meats. Um, with a real challenge, we, we also have real prizes. Um, prizes have been given out. This is a great time to plug our internet presence. So tinfoil hat, it's TFC. We're on Mastodon at DEF CON Social. Um, so you can see all of the winning hats there. For our classic winner, we have two Malort. 
um, who came and tried like, four, oh, we're out in the audience. But yes, tried 14, 15 times, real science. We've got baffles in there. We have a very functional hat there. Um, we have Foon as our style category with a lovely squid-like octopus hat, if you've seen that walking around. And lastly, we have M-Girl who won in our unlimited category. So hopefully this is all, all very legit, very serious. We are here to protect you. Hopefully you've seen people being, taking those extra precautions out in the world, confusing the people that are not part of our event. Um, and we hope you have a great time and see us next time. Defcon. Hello, DEF CON. I'm Rare uh, with the Hardware Hacking Village CTF. Uh, this year we created another challenge with um, custom hardware, well, custom hardware in a fictional scenario where we had a fictional badge that contestants needed to hack on. Um, I'm excited to announce the top three winners. We had Drone Amplified in third place, Nuclear Kitty in second place, and Solving All But One Challenge, Mako in fir first place. Please give a round of applause for all of them and thank you. Hello, we are the Beverage Cooling Contraption Contest. You cool beer. If you lose, you get beer. If you win, you get beer. Wow. So the people that won this year, they got a whole bunch of copper pennies. They sorted through them all through little, like, the, to get just the copper, not the brass crap, and then ran it through dry ice and ice propyl alcohol and then poured the beer through it, and they did, like, 70 degrees in, like, 15 seconds. So they did, like, 100 degrees to, like, 40. They're awesome. I'll meet them over there. Hello, I'm here from Trace Labs. I'll try to keep this short, but the subject is important. Uh, the Trace Labs OSINT is a non theoretical CTF. Uh, we are working, we did work for real missing persons cases and generated about 3,000 pieces of intelligence that will be passed on to law enforcement. Um, our highest prize. Our highest prize always goes to the most valuable OSINT, the ones that are most impactful. Our MVO winner for this event was able to identify where a missing person had appeared in an escort ad in another state. They were able to further reinforce this through a number of techniques. This information has already been compiled. They compiled the report within under 24 hours and it has already been shared with law enforcement. I know we want to rush, but I want to reinforce that there is a high likelihood that the missing person will be reunited with their family thanks to the effort of this team, the League of Extraordinary O-Sinners. I just want to say it's a team effort. It wasn't just me. Uh, it's malware. TX456 in Lab Scout. Without you, uh, this wouldn't happen, and uh, we're really glad to help. Let's, uh, let's bring everybody back home. Hey, DEF CON. We're DC207. We're from the state of Maine. We have a DEF CON group there. We're the Lonely Hard Drive. So we were a combination scavenger hunt and CTF on a physical hard drive, hundreds of which were hidden around the conference. Uh, we've got a first place winner who already got there uh, and got on a plane. It was Jiku. Um, we also had second place as I'm a Team and Sauce Dex as in third. And you'll have to meet us off stage for your prizes. It's Ponagachis, RFID tools, all kinds of cool stuff. Thank you, DEF CON, everyone who uh, participated. Hey, we're Embedded Systems Village. This is a new contest this year where we had a whole bunch of embedded de devices where you attack from the physical side over the network, uh, RF. We had some mobile challenges and we even had some challenges on our funky little badge here. Uh, so in first place, we had a team Flowers by Irene with 40,000 40, out of about 50,000 points available. So great job. Minotaur Orum, a treasure hunt puzzle. We had one person who found and claimed the treasure. His name was Dutch. 
He did it all on his phone via mobile, solved many, many different things across different villages, and claimed the treasure for himself. Three, two, one, happy birthday, El Cantaro. Three, two, one, happy birthday, El Cantaro! All right, hello, Def Con. This is Recon Village. This year we had two contests and talks. We are adding up contests, making more hands on. So we had a CTF and a subdomain collection. People will talk about it. Got a good uh, vibe over there. So if you are around next year, please come check out. Over to Sudanshu. Hello, Def Con. All right, around the OSINT CTF, which is obviously around finding information and collecting details. We have three players who have won, three teams, sorry. In total, we had 142 teams, 248 players. So the third player, or third team which win is Phoenix. Do we have Phoenix in the house? Right. Team Phoenix, we have hack five packet squirrel for you if you are around. All right, moving on. The second team was Atomic Chonk. Anyone from Atomic Chonk here? All you right. To rush. <laughs> Are they around? All right. Moving on to the first team, which is Pinja, as usual. They have been winning the contest for a couple of years now. And here they are. <laughs> they get a 3D printer, a RGB mouse pad, as well as a recon API from Red Hunt. All right, moving on to the next contest, which is Recon Acharya. Hey, Defcon. This was the first time in seven years of Recon Village we did Recon Acharya contest. Acharya is an Indian origin word, which means mentor, or master. The stats were amazing. There were some 67, 67 teams total registered. We had total domain of 15,000. So the contest was around domain enumerations. We had a whooping 23 million submission this time. There was one team with the highest invalid submission, which was 35% invalid submission, but our winner, which was Domain Tool, had only 0.9% invalid submissions. So Domain Tools on the stage, the, the winner gets PlayStation 5. Dan Fernandez from Domain Tools, are you around? And, and the winner also gets Attack Surface Recon API from Red Hat Labs, a six month subscription. And the winner gets a Wi Fi auditing adapter from Hack5. And the winner gets RGB mouse pad from Red Hat Labs. Last but not least, we are going to release all the techniques and data for community research, all the 23 million subdomains. So have fun. See you next year. Long live Recon. A big shout out to Kunal, who is one of the creators of the CTF, but he's not here with us. So this is to you, Kunal. All right, so before they start playing the music on me and telling me to get off stage, um, I did want to mention uh, there were some contests, uh, events, uh, villages that I didn't have a chance to mention, uh, but I am going to do better next year. I know I said that last year, but I'm actually going to do it. Uh, so I just wanted to thank them for their hard work. Sorry that I fucked it up. And uh, as just to change things up, instead of announcing a winner, I would like to let everyone know that there was a secret challenge in Hacker Karaoke, and there were no winners. So that's still something you guys can do. The prize is an RFID reader writer. So. There's still stuff out there, guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for every for this community. Thank you, everybody.